colorful, has a lot of great memories in it. And I think you guys, I can tell this morning, you're enjoying looking at it. So if you forgot your $10, you know, there's a, I think there's like three boxes of yearbooks up front. So don't panic. There's plenty, I think, right now for everyone. But it, it is $10, and your mom can write a check or bring cash, all right? So um, I'm going to give my banner away, but, you know, I heard we've got a great day planned tomorrow. What is tomorrow?
they can use this concept with. It could be with neons, traditional bowls. It could be with all those interesting, different, deeper colors or brighter colors. They could still use it. I thought, wow, the jazz. Then I thought about third grade. And all of the times that they pulled in what they were doing in literature and what they were doing in their reading and everything else and how that correlated to the art room. And all the times, the connections that they made throughout the year with that. And then I thought about second grade. And I thought about second grade and the energy that they brought into that room and the excitement that they brought into the room and how sometimes they, they even helped kept me on track when we had projects that were multiple times. And we even had a few times in second grade, we had two or three projects going on at the same time. And we were pulling and working on this one and then we were pulling and working on that one. And the focus that that took with that energy. And then I thought about first grade. And I thought about first grade and how they were coming in. I'm telling you, when we said that second grade had energy, you should see first grade in the art room. They got into all of the watercolor paints, the temper paints, the doing of colors. They brought energy in there. But they also really started to figure out the systems and the patterns. And they really started to talk to me about, hey, there's a pattern there. Pattern throughout the whole year. And by now, they have it. And then there was kindergarten. And you know what cracked me up a little bit in a, in a like, Kindergarten was working on colors, and some of their teachers came over and said, how do we make that color again? We have the red, the yellow, and the blue. And the primary color, what do we do for orange? And the kindergartners were like, we got we know how to make the secondary colors, the orange, the green, and the purple. And they got to help and lead with their teachers. They owned those primary colors, and they owned those secondary colors. And I thought, they owned the banner too. So I'm not giving the banner. I am not giving the banner because I am presenting a banner that was earned by kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade this year. You all had growth in your own way. Now I'm challenging you to continue to take what you've learned in that art room, our art room, and in your classroom, and in all the other rooms, and continue to make the connections all summer long. Bring them back to us, or to college you, because I know the art teacher there, and I'm going to ask her, and share them with us. So I'm going to take this and put it outside the conference room and say thank you for everybody earning the banner for the art room, the last banner. Now, one big huge husky cheer for the school. And now I would like to share the microphone with Mr. Francis. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Hey.
as you know, tomorrow is Miss Nally's favorite day, and that is... It is a very special day for me as well, as well as everybody in Country Heights, as far as teachers, staff, and you students, and that is... Field Day or Water Day. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of my supplies up here. Me and Miss Pointer have been working very hard, getting everything together, and we are ready. But, in order to participate tomorrow, there are some rules and guidelines that you have to follow. Okay? And I'm just, I want to explain some of them to you. They are for your own safety and they are for the school safety as well. Now, you will be going to each station. There will be 10 total stations. Uh, one will be in the gym. All the rest of the nine will be out on the track. And there is an extra special station that you will have to wait and find out for tomorrow. Okay? Now, all the stations you will be going to with your classroom. Oh, but it's not the slip and slide. It's not the actual No, the slip and slide it's is not, an actual it's station. Not Correct. Okay. You will be going with your classroom to each station. There will be fifth grade leaders there that will explain how the station is run. I have selected those fifth grade leaders along with their teachers, and they will be in charge of that station. There will be some uh, adult volunteers and possibly even some high school students that will be coming over and helping out. But I want you to respect those fifth grade leaders. They earned that position to be there. As far as you, this is what I would like for you to do is, um, when you come to Water Day tomorrow. You may wear... No bikinis? No bikinis. So I can't, I was going to wear mine, but Ms. Harper said no, so I can't wear my bikini tomorrow. You may not wear your bathing suit either, but you may bring, you may wear like an old t-shirt, maybe some old shorts, it's going to be warm tomorrow. So bring clothes that you know that can get wet and you really don't care if they maybe even get muddy. But, as far as your shoes are concerned as well. They, I look cute in these. I do like those flip-flops, Miss Pointer. Are they Yeah, they can are. Can I wear them? Yeah. Oh, I, can, I can wear these tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow? No, you can't wear them tomorrow. We ask that you all wear tennis shoes tomorrow. Oh, or water shoes. Or water shoes. Water shoes is fine too. Okay? But we do ask that you wear tennis shoes or water shoes. And that, not flip flops. Is that because of There is a station where you will be running around with some water. So. Uh, oh! I know that I will look fabulous in my shorts that will be wet. And, um, but when I come. So, whenever you get out of a pool, or whenever you get out of a shower, what do you usually use? A towel. So, please make sure that you bring a towel, not for your friend to use, but for you to use. Okay? And I have to bring And a change of clothes as well. Now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Forgot your socks, towel. right? I, I had my towel. You, you forgot your socks, Miss Pointer, right? No, I had socks and I had other sneakers. But I tried to change out of wet clothes and put on dry clothes, but there was an article of clothing that was still wet and I didn't bring an extra pair, so they were wet. Say the 
And the last, the last thing that we are all asking you to do, now it's going to be warm outside tomorrow. It's going to be sunny outside tomorrow. So please, 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 before you come to school tomorrow, apply sunscreen. I don't have any. Apply sunscreen now. We do not want any friend to bring sunscreen to school. We do not want to share sunscreen with any of our friends. So that is why we are asking that you apply it at home before you come to school. Primary, you will be going in the morning. You will start at 8.15 and go to 11 o'clock. And then intermediate, you will start at 11.15 and go to about 1.30. Okay? I am looking forward to it. I hope that you all have fun. Get plenty of rest tonight because it's going to be a very exciting day tomorrow. I'm going 24 hours now. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. All right, we have some birthdays to share with you today. We're going to finish all of May birthdays today. So if you have a birthday in May and you have not heard your name, you're going to hear it today. And then next week, we're going to do summer birthdays. So if you have a June or July birthday, we'll announce those next week. So listen for your, listen for your name and come on down and get a pencil. Thank you. 